Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And there's something interesting spotted by Diana. So I want to give a shout out to her. I will leave her Twitter in the description down below so you guys can check it out. But there was an AK filing that she discovered that is now stating that T-Mobile's retail business recovered a lot better and faster than originally anticipated. If you guys remember on the Q1 earnings call, the outlook for the year was from zero to 150,000 ads. It seems now T-Mobile has recovered better than anticipated and they're now saying they're gonna do between 800 to 900,000 ads for the quarter, for the quarter ending in uh, Q2. Now that is big in my opinion to recover that quickly and they're also saying there are better and newer opportunities for T-Mobile business. Now this is big after the last two days, we've gotten the bad news of the, the big outage and then T-Mobile announcing that they would be cutting a lot of sprint jobs, which was to be anticipated anyway. You guys called it before the merger even closed. I've said it on some of the videos. A lot of the redundant positions just needed to go and that's exactly what's happening now. Now, this is, in my opinion, if, if T-Mobile did have any effect, negative effect from this outage, we probably wouldn't see it until the third quarter any effects any negative effects but them still doing 800 to 900,000 during a pandemic and retail was closed still for for you know a good part of that quarter that's pretty big um the the big two should be concerned and uh my buddy tech extremist said if the if the t-mobile momentum would slow down or stop it would be now especially since we've gotten some of the negative pr for for t-mobile but if they could still quarter after quarter pull in these kinds of numbers as the merged company, that's going to put AT&T and Verizon on big, big notices. Um, still, T-Mobile, the smaller network, as we all know, um, they will have more capacity. Of course, they're rolling out 2.5 at a furious pace. So they'll have the capacity, but they'll still have the smaller network. And as we've seen with the outage, uh, the reliability is still not there yet in terms of the redundancies that need to be built into the network. That's going to be fixed, of course. That's going to get better over time. But in terms of like the backup generators, adding that to all the cell sites, the better equipment, that'll come with T-Mobile over time and also growing the network to be the size of Verizon and AT&T. That'll all come over time. But the business in terms of uh, growing the business now from wireless, like I said, wireless they mastered it i know the network is not 100 percent there yet but they mastered the overall business now as they head into tv and home internet if they can also grab market share on that at&t better be on the lookout that's all i'm gonna say here um at&t better be on on the big lookout spectrum charter comcast cox they all better uh they're better um they better better their business practices or it seems T-Mobile has a big following and they're just people are just going to keep keep switching. If there are a lot of people that have T-Mobile as their wireless service and they use Spectrum or Charter for home internet and TV, if they like the wireless so much and the experience, those customers are likely to bundle all of their services with T-Mobile when they are offered. And that's where the scary parts c come into play. But again, like I said, the competition is going to be fierce now. AT&T is ramping up. Big changes coming to AT&T, as you guys have seen over the last few days. Verizon will likely also make those changes, changes as well in the coming months. So definitely stay tuned. I will keep you guys up to date, but I just felt like this was very interesting and a big change that they're now saying they're going to add 800 to 900,000 for the quarter. If you are new to the channel, make sure you like, share, subscribe. If you have been on the channel, you can go ahead and end the video now. But if you are new, make sure you hit the notification bell so you are notified when I upload content through YouTube. Also, if YouTube on your end is dropping the ball on pushing out the notification in a timely manner, make sure to follow my Twitter. I do post the videos on there. Just push the notifications on Twitter and Twitter will send out a notification when I do post the videos on Twitter. And this is Tyrone with Tech Life and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.